Subtle. Everyone's subtle. We gather here to right what has been purported to be a great wrong between an Araphagus and a Succubus. Veda, it has been a long time since you reported for an audience with the Council. I apologize. No need. That is not why you are here. Though I sense your apprehension, and I assure you, we will be fair and just. Your lack of integration into our culture and systems will not be held against you. Do you wish for an accounting? Or will you submit yourself freely? I submit myself freely to the Council and to the Araphagus. I give of myself in place of another. <sighs> You cannot stand here and tell me this obstinance will be allowed for hiding the human from me, interfering with council-approved collection, and now continuing to refuse to give me what is mine. You will collect what you are owed, my child. Veda has submitted willingly and with grace. Otakte, you may begin. You have to stay quiet, little one. We cannot intervene. No matter how Veda may cry out, you must stay hidden or her sacrifice will be for nothing. Apertum. Absolvisti, revelare, expedire. <sighs> You're shielding yourself. Even now, before council, you distort and subvert our Customs. I... I'm not. I am giving to you what you ask. It is not my duty to guide you through my own mind. <sighs> then I will rip them from you. <sighs> Here we are. All you needed was a bit more motivation to give me what I am owed, suck. And what have we here? Your mother. I do not blame you, sweet girl. No. I know that my love will never waver. No, stop. Anything but this. You can have any piece of my mind that you wish. Please. Oh, talk to you. Leave me my mother. How dare you keep from me what is mine? You dare to hide them here, in our own realm. You offer me yourself in place of this... This sack of meat. What are they truly worth? They offer the world nothing. I could squish them right now beneath me, and what would change? You behave as though the very fabric of the universe would split apart should any harm come to this. Thing. You. You don't need them. I offer you more than they ever could. I stand here, giving you more than you deserve, and yet you remain focused on them. One could inquire as to your obsession with the human all the same as you question my allegiance to them. Allegiance. <laughs> 
You admit it, then. What? You admit that you have aligned yourself with a human over your own kind. She may be able to shield her thoughts from me, but can you... Very good, human. Struggle. Give me your fear. Open yourself to me. No, little light. You mustn't allow your emotions to the surface. Protect your memories. Fight it. <laughs> The human loves you. Is that it? Love. You dishonor your ancestry. Disgrace your position and betray your own kind for love. A succubus in love with a human. Pathetic. You mustn't. You can't be serious. <laughs> if you're attempting to do that... <laughs> what do you humans call it? Yes. Tickling. <laughs> Whatever that is, it will not work on me, little light. Oh. Oh, but in contrast, it seems to work very well on you. <laughs> ah, give me more, human. Open yourself up and give me what is mine. Anyone who wants to access you has me to answer to. You. You bound them to you. This must not be allowed to stand. They are mine. I'll kill you, succubus. What do you think you're doing? You dare to lay your hands upon me. You will learn to respect... <sighs> what? How are you doing this? Taking energy from me. Growing brighter. What is that unholy light? But how? Don't just stand there. Get this thing off of me. Underlings, listen and obey your master. Uh, why do you disobey me? Is this not what you wanted? You hunted them for years, and now that you have them in your hands, are you quivering? You've forgotten fear yourself, haven't you, Otakte? You clothed and called yourself fear in flesh but lost sight of your own fears hidden within your core. You would do well to remember your place, succubus. Even your name is a facade, isn't it? A part of your costuming used to conceal your true nature. To add the lore you created to make a name for yourself. Otakte. One who kills many. And you have, haven't you? I have taken from my fair share, but death was not something I inflicted without consideration. Because you're weak, Veda. You're weak and insignificant. Perhaps your love for this human is fitting then. Your weakness opened you to corruption. You wish to speak of corruption. 
What if the souls you consume and do not give a portion to the head or to counsel? What of your sins, O Takte? Enough, my children. That is enough. Veda, take your human and join your sister. O Takte, is there any truth to the accusations laid before you? Have you taken in my name without permission? Rhea. Do not dare utter my name in light of what you've done. I gave you my trust, Otakte. I gave you my trust with the understanding that you could govern yourself accordingly. Veda. Allow them to come to me. It's all right, human. Come here. Stand here in front of me. Very good. I want you to take my hands and to allow me to access your mind. I will not feed on you, but I need to see for myself. If Otakte has been tracking you, I will see their shadow over your memories. I want you to understand what happened, baby. I want you to trust me enough to be honest. I should have protected you. Quod sit cruer per mutua nexis. There's no reason for you to be upset. It's been years since he left. I asked Ellis to come over so we can talk. It is as I feared. You should never have been put through the pain and trials the Fear Eater and their underlings have placed upon you. My child. Don't interrupt her, little light. It's all right, Veda. It is only natural for them to have questions. I will tell you what I can. There are different layers to our existence, human. Though we are separated by the realms, the layer between our world and yours is actually quite thin. There are humans who, by some twist of fate and predestination, act as a bridge between our realms. You, my child, are a bridge known in our world as the Roshani. There used to be many more of you living on Earth, but there were some in our realm who feared the Roshani. Those who resented their ability to connect to both realms without having to pay the toll or earn the right to travel between the two sides. You can, in fact, travel between the realms. Had things not devolved as they did a century or so ago, you'd have been trained to do so following the start of your 18th year in life. This may explain, in part, why Arveda felt so called to answer your cries when you were a child. I will not stand here and pretend to have the answers to everything. But I will assure you that you have nothing left to fear from any of us. Otakte will not be allowed to harm you. Or anyone else, for that matter. I wonder if I might... If we might be released from the tribunal. I don't mean to overstep, but I believe they have seen more than enough of the inner workings. At least for now. Perhaps you're right. Hadria will stay in your place as a witness to the continuation of the atonement. She will represent you if you do not wish to take the final memories yourself, Veda. If you're certain. I'm certain, yes. I don't need anything from that monster. And I don't want my little light around any more of this than I can help. 
The two of you should get some rest. Hadria will bring you the Council's final decision regarding your charge in a few days' time. And Veda, your mother, my Leora. She'd be proud of you, my child. Know that if nothing else, she would be proud. You look as though you've seen a ghost, little light. I'm sorry for whatever memories you were forced to relive. I'm sorry I could not shield you from all of this. All I ever wanted was for you to be safe and removed from my world. Can you... Can you what? Of course I love you. You're my little knight, after all. Come here. Hold on to me. Well, look at you. Still have your balance and your wits about you. There may be hope for you in our realm after all. I don't think I've ever seen you so free of worry. So... unburdened. We really should get some rest while the Council makes their decision. We do have a few days, yes. But that doesn't mean we should... No, love. Maybe it's best if we... If we wait. Oh, God. Do you think you can manage to do as you're told? 